I feel a failure as a human being. I feel inadequate as a man and as a human being, like I'm second rate, and all because of what I had thrown at me, abuse-wise, for years. He dreamed of wearing the Chelsea badge, but now he can't even look at it. This former youth player who says he was repeatedly racially abused at the club wants to remain anonymous. Um, it was by uh, Gwyn Williams, who was the youth development officer there at the time. Um, he was in charge of the youth team. Um, sometimes it could be every day in training. Um, racial slurs, basically, uh, being called shoe shine, lazy black it just wore me down over a period of years. Williams was a prominent figure at Chelsea for 25 years. He turned round to me pretty aggressively and jabbing his finger in my chest and said, stop being a silly little <laughs> fight your way back in the team. And he stormed out the laundry room. We just basically wanted to get on with our careers and you just swallow it and brush it off and just carry on basically. He joined Chelsea in the late 70s when he was 13 years old and says the abuse lasted for six years. Despite becoming a pro when he turned 18, he left the club struggling with depression. When these things were said to you at the time, what was going through your mind? I felt humiliated, um, abused, belittled, degraded. I was a child, you know, I didn't know how to take the abuse, you know. Just disgusted, you know, he was the adult, I was the child, you know. He was in a position of power and authority. I had none of that. I was just trying to forge a professional football career for myself. The 51-year-old father of one is taking legal action. Chelsea have been accused by not one, but four alleged victims for failing to protect players, and there could be more. I think potentially it can be extremely widespread. I think it hasn't just gone on at Chelsea per se, I think it's gone, gone on across the board. Um, the extent of it is something that we're not going to know till people come forward so we can identify that. We showed him our exclusive investigation, revealing that more than 40 footballers currently playing in Greater London have been racially abused in the game, decades on from this case. It makes me feel sick to my stomach, really, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I experienced it firsthand, and so I can understand how other players, what, what, how they feel uh, going through the same experiences, and it's the most unpleasant feeling you can have in your life. So you'd like to think society had moved on since the 70s and 80s, and obviously it hasn't, and people are still as ignorant today as they was back then. Nearly 40 years on, more than anything else, he says he wants an apology from Chelsea.